What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. James here from the Shocker Racing Garage. And today what we are gonna do is we're gonna do a little comparison between the new Ford Bronco Badlands Sasquatch and the Mojito Jeep. Now, both of these vehicles are factory suspension, no lift. Actually, the Bronco's fully stock, 100% stock. The Sasquatch package comes with 35s and of course my neighbor's dogs are going crazy. Um, all right, so the Sasquatch package uh, comes with its own lift from Ford or whatever to fit the 35 inch tires. The Mojito Jeep is still 100% stock suspension. We have not done anything to lift it or change the suspension at all. The only thing we have done is we bolted on a set or mounted up a set of 35 inch tires. So what I am going to do today is we're gonna head over to where I keep my car hauler and we're gonna use the ramps on that to flex both of them out. Um, the goal is to see which one can flex better or go further up the ramps while letting the other side droop. Uh, we will disconnect both sway bars because both have the factory sway bar disconnects and uh, it's actually going to be my first time getting to try it out on the Bronco. So maybe we will see about actually disconnecting it um, mid travel like they show how you can just press the button and it'll disconnect where the Jeeps you have to disconnect while you're on flat level ground and then head to your obstacles. The Bronco they claim you can hit the disconnect at any point and it'll actually droop down. So we're gonna head over there. Kim's gonna drive Mojito. I will have, this one's still my dad's Bronco. Our Bronco is in production currently. It is Halloween 2021. Today's Halloween day and um, mine is still in production. Has not been shown to be completed or built yet, but uh, hopefully I should have ours this week. So stay tuned. We're going to flex them out and see which one is the king of flex, the Rubicon JL or the new Bronco Badlands. All right, so we're out at my favorite like video area here, the, the storage facility. We got we got Tom at Blue up? JL here. Uh, what we're going to do, we got the hauler set up with the ramps. We are going to flex them out. Which one should we flex first? Should we do Mo or the Bronco? Uh, that's a tough one. I, I go Bronco. All right, so we're going to try out the Bronco first. We're going to flex it. Um, I think we'll flex them on both sides. And this will be our first time trying out the sway bar disconnect on the Bronco. All right. But I think what we'll do is we'll get it up on the ramp and then we'll hit the button. Because okay, you can, see supposedly it. can do it in motion. So we'll do it, see how it drops. Um, so we'll start with the Bronco and then uh, we'll try out Mo and then. Uh, We'll test out Blue JL, see how it does on the ramp. All right, let's go. All right, so we got the girls in the Bronco. We got Hannah and Kim are both in the Bronco. They're gonna they're gonna be the drivers so that we could film this. Tom's working on Instagram Reels because Reels are life these days. And uh, let's go. Okay, hold it there. Sounds like you're, it sounded like the rear was slipping already. All right, um, so on the center of the dash, I'm gonna show you guys real quick and we'll show this on the camera. Oh. So the sway bar disconnect button is the far left one there, okay? One? Yep, don't hit it yet until I'm out here to video, but when I tell you to, go ahead and press the button. All right, go ahead and press the, Disconnect button. There it goes. Okay, so we're disconnected. We sure are. Let's see if that lets us drive any higher. I'm going to come back around the other side. Oh yeah, you're on the ramp now. Okay, so what happened was she started driving and it was still flexing, but we started going up the ramp. So we pushed the ramp in and we're gonna go a little bit further forward. I think it's got, and you can see it's pretty well flexed out here in this wheel well. They're pretty well stuffed. Still, still got room to go up in here. Up in here. Still got room with the 35s. All right, Hannah, when you come forward, come real slow. It's 
Good, that's perfect, Carl. Okay, stop. Oh, this tire's off the ground. <laughs> yeah. Back up slowly until I tell you to stop here just a little bit. Okay, we're touched on, stop there. All right, so this is the full flex. As far as it went before it actually lifted the rear tire off the ground. All right, Kim's gonna hop out. Kind of like getting out of <laughs> and then she's gonna hop in Mo, and we're gonna flex Mo on this side. Now on the Wranglers, you can't disconnect once you're up in the air. So what we're gonna do is she's gonna go ahead and put it in four high, shift to four high. Once that's in and good, then she can go ahead and hit the sway bar disconnect button. And we've gotta wait for it to disconnect here on the dash, sway bar disconnected. And now she's ready to go. And we're gonna guide her up on the other side here. Okay, hold on, let me take a walk around. Yeah, you might be getting close to the ramp, Kim, so. See, this is pretty well stuffed here. Said you're real close to the ramp here, so we might have to pull that down. But you are pretty well stuffed. Might have a little bit more to go. And we're real close here. Uh, go ahead and back up just a touch, Kim. All right, Kim, keep crawling a little further forward. Little by little, hold it. Let me check this side here. Pretty well tucked, but we got a little bit more to go, I think. Cam, just ever so slightly. All right, I think, I think that's about it. Yeah, you're, you're stuffed here. Go ahead and put it in park, Kim. So it's fully tucked in here. Now the Bronco isn't quite as well stuffed, but it but we know it was pulling the tire off the ground, so that was it for that. So this is the 35s with no lift. But that's 35s how it came from the factory. And actually, I'm, I'm I gotta say I'm actually impressed with the Bronco. I didn't think it would get that high up, but I think Mojito has it beat by by a little bit. Huh? How is Mojito beating it? It's up just a little further than the Bronco. Oh, okay. And it still actually didn't pull the tire up off the ground. So can we move it's forward it's just like... stuck. Go ahead and come. You want to keep an eye on the uh, the back, Tom? Yeah. Come up just a little more, Kim. Stop there, I think. Yeah, I heard some rub. Yeah, it's definitely yeah. rubbing on the liners. So on the Jeep, with it fully flexed out, it's got eight degrees of roll. Um, with it fully flexed out further than the Bronco. And uh, we'll go over and we'll, let's check what the Bronco is showing here. Let's go over by Hannah. So Hannah's got it up on the screen here. And the roll is actually at 10 degrees, if you can see that right there. So um, the Jeep has a little bit more flex and less body roll than the Bronco. All right, so I gotta say, they actually both flex pretty similarly. I'm, I'm actually really, really surprised at how well the Bronco did with the Badlands package and the Sasquatch, um, how well it really flexed out um, stock compared to the Mojito Jeep. I really thought the Jeep was gonna actually crush it on this. So um, really impressive, very close. Uh, I think the, the difference was negligible really between the two and uh, yeah, I'm impressed. Can't wait to get these things out on the trail and compare them side by side when we are hitting the trails. All right, so Kim is hopping in Blue JL here, which is a two and a half inch lift with 37 inch tires. And we're gonna flex that out next to the Bronco just to see how it does for comparison sake, because we're here and it looks cool.
Okay, hold up. I'm gonna check the back tire, Kim. I think you still got plenty to go, but. Just catching the plastic here. I think we still got a little bit. Huh? You're pretty well grouped here. Yeah, it's pretty. I think that's about it. It's always on the Jeeps here. It's always yeah, it's this, this little notch here in the plastic that always seems to limit the uh, tires on the back. Yeah. Front's got plenty of room here. You could, yeah. you could go actually more in the front. It's just the back there. I'm not worried about the back. Tom wants to go a touch further, Kim, slowly. Ten degrees, that's that's impressive. More? No, we're good. So you're currently at ten, 10 degrees, degrees and roll. six degree pitch. Alright. Look at that. Like two tire lengths further than these stock vehicles. It's a, it's amazing what two and a half inches will get you, you know? That's what she said. <laughs> that's what she said. <laughs> 